Hi everyone, it's Mr. Polachek, and today I'm going to be speaking to you about the addition multiplication rule and how we use it to solve genetics problems that you might see on the AP Biology exam. So let's take a look at what one of these questions might look like. Uh, here you can see two parents and we have four traits at one time and you're asked to figure out what is the probability of producing um, the genotype of the offspring, which you can see listed uh, right down here. Now, students have tried to figure out um, the answer to this by completing a whole bunch of Punnett squares like this and then evaluating each Punnett square. And that will definitely work, but it's gonna take a little bit more time than using the addition multiplication rule. And when it comes to the AP Biology exam, you really don't wanna be wasting time. If there's a quicker method that can guarantee you getting the right answer, um, we wanna make sure that we do that. So this type of uh, way to solve it, I wouldn't recommend doing uh, if you can do the addition multiplication rule instead. I've also seen students try to replicate the dihybrid cross uh, Punnett square and just um, expand on that to create uh, a chart that has all four traits. And that just becomes a little more difficult, in my opinion, to evaluate all the different uh, boxes and figure out the probability. I, I really like this way. This method is a little better. So let's take a look at how you might solve uh, using the addition multiplication rule. I'll take you through step by step and then I'll show you a problem that you could try on your own. All right, so we're being asked to figure out what's the probability of creating um, this offspring. So let's start off, we're gonna go trait by trait. We need a capital A, lowercase a is the genotype. If this is one parent here, and let's say uh, they have this allele be contributed in a sex cell and it unites and fertilizes with this one here, we get capital A, capital A, and we don't need that. So that is not something that we're uh, going to uh, account for. It could also join with this lowercase a here, and that we are looking for. So I'm going to put a check there because that one will work. And now we're going to go to this a, this lowercase a from the parent, and have it unite with this sex cell here, and that also works. So we'll put a check there. And then lowercase a to lowercase a is not what we're being asked for here. So out of the four lines, one, two, three, four, um, we have checks for two of them. So we have out of four, we have one out of four, and we had another one out of four. So we're gonna add these together. That's part of your addition multiplication rules. So the first thing we're gonna do is add these together. And when we do that, when you add these fractions, you will get two out of four, and we will reduce that, and we will get one half. So there is a one half of a chance of the offspring getting those alleles. So now we're gonna go to the, um, to the next one. We'll go to letter B, and I'm just gonna change the uh, color of the marker, because I think that will help. Okay, we'll try yellow. Uh, so let's do the B's here. So we start with the capital B and it unites with this capital B and that works. We'll put a check mark there. But if this capital B unites with this one from this parent, that's not what we're looking for. Lowercase b with big B, we're not looking for that as either. And then that one won't work as well. So we have one out of four lines, one out of four worked. So we're going to go one out of four. We don't even need the addition rule there. Now, here's where the multiplication rule comes into effect. Whenever you're seeing the probability of traits occurring at the same time, you're going to multiply those numbers together. But we're not done. We have to use um, the letter C. So let's go ahead and change that color just so it's a little easier for you guys to see. And it's going to go ugly purple. Okay, and let's go to the letter C. So we have to get big C, little c in the offspring. So this big C unites with that big C. We're not looking for that. Um, big C with little c, that works. I'll put a check. Now I'm going to go to this little c with this big C. That will work. I'll put a check. And little c to little c, that doesn't work. So again, I'm going to have it work here. One quarter plus one quarter is going to equal two quarters and that will reduce to one half. So we're gonna put here one half and we're gonna multiply that. And the last one is the lowercase d. Now, if you've been following along, you've probably figured this out. 
without all the colors and everything, um, you can see here that the capital D and the first capital D is not what we're asked for. Capital D lowercase d is not what we're asked for. Little d big D, not what we're asked for. And we have a one quarter chance of producing little d little d. And now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply these together. When you do that, we're just going to go across the top. One times one is one. Uh, and now here, you know, you'll have a calculator, but you could just do this. Um, two times four is eight times two is 16 and 16 times four is 64. So that color is not the best color for me to be using, but you could see it's a one in 64 chance. Okay, so I'm going to uh, skip to the next slide here and let you try this one. So you can pause the video now and maybe take a shot at it and and I'll go through and, and show you how to do it. Okay, so pause the video and when you're done, hit play. Okay, so here's how you figure this out. Uh, we need lowercase a, lowercase a. You'll see that this doesn't work, this doesn't work, this doesn't work. But this last combination works, so that's one out of the four, so that's one quarter. We're going to multiply it by the chance of b. We need big B, little b, so this doesn't work. But this one does, this one does, but this does not. So we had a two out of four chance, and two fourths is reduced to one half. And um, big C, big C is going to be one quarter. That's the only way you're going to get it there. And this won't work, and this won't work. So you're going to get another quarter. And now four times two is eight times two is, I'm, I'm sorry, times four is 32. So this is a one and 32 chance of producing that offspring. Okay. Okay, and that's how you solve genetics problems where you're asked for multiple traits at once and asked to figure out the probability of a genotype for the offspring. That's the addition multiplication rule. I hope that helped, and I'll see you next time.